All right. Welcome to Chiga. I'll be facilitating this practice. My name is Craig. I've been doing Tuesday Chiga for almost, say, past three years. So welcome. I'll begin class in about two minutes. Just letting people get an opportunity to settle down, settle in, connect, see what this practice is about. But this is a Qigong class, a class which is connected to the ancient Chinese practice of working with our energy, a practice that has been done for thousands of years. And with Qigong, we do gentle movements to help us shift our state into more relaxation and healing. Qigong also allows us to just connect ourselves, shift into embodiment, shift out of cognition into flow, into a state of being. This can be a self-care practice can be a practice for you to just shift out of doing from leaving work and just allow you to just come home to yourself. So this practice will consist of gentle movements where the body is coordinated with the breath. And with this particular class will be very flowy, very easy. Sometimes I add stretches or other exercises or gestures that can be a little bit challenging, but this class will be very flowy, very easy. Be a excellent class as an evening class. So I'm gonna start the practice right now. Just do another reintroduction. My name is Craig. I'll be facilitating this Qigong practice for you. Welcome. Qigong is an ancient Chinese practice of self-care, energy, practice, movement, mindfulness can be done as a moving meditation. Here's the breakdown of the class. So this is a 60 minute long class, but and welcome to do the class how you would like. I'll be standing. You can do it seated or even laying down. You can take breaks. Qigong is about, it's not about pain or strain. It's about listening to yourself, honoring yourself, connecting with yourself in the present moment, connecting with your energy, connecting with your healing ability. And we don't do that best when we're stressed or pushing ourselves. So here's the breakdown for the class. So for the next five to seven minutes, we'll be doing what is called aligning the three treasures and the three treasures are body, breath, and mind. That just helps us get the most of our Qigong practice. Then after that will be the five standard flows and movements. So four flows and shaking. And that will take us to about the midpoint of class. And after the midpoint, we'll do some stretching, some exercises and gestures to warm up the spine. And then we'll go into some more settling flows, flows that connect with the water element, flows that allow you to just, again, deepen your connection with yourself, your healing ability, and being in the present moment. And then we'll just do a couple of closing practices, and that will be the class. So as always, listen to yourself, honor yourself, anything that you see me do, you can modify it, you can alter it for yourself. I am just a guide. You know what you need. So let's begin. Let's start off this practice. Let's begin with aligning the three treasures. So let's bring our feet together if you're standing up and let's make sure we just have enough space for ourselves. We're doing movements that allow the hands to float overhead, float down, out to the side, 
front and back. So just make sure you have space for yourself. Checking in with yourself and your environment. And with your feet together, we're actually going to now step the feet apart. So you can shift your weight into your right foot. Step out with your left. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Let me step back so you can see them a little bit more clearly. And let's begin with aligning the body. This is where we go into a body scan. So let's just notice our feet connecting to the ground, rooting into the earth. Noticing how the feet feel, plant on the ground. If there's anything you can do to make that more comfortable for yourself. And let's check in with the knees. Knees are soft, if you like, you can lock and gently unlock your knees. Let's check in with the pelvis. So the pelvic bowl is level, so the pubic bone is tilted up, so the tailbone is tucked underneath the spine as if you're sitting on a tall stool, like a bar stool. And let's check in with the chest, chest is open. Let's check in with the arms, arms are hanging down, slight bend the elbows. Palms are soft, fingers can be spread apart. And let's check in with our shoulders and our neck. We tend to carry a lot of tension in these areas. Let's welcome an opportunity to release tension in these areas. You can follow along. I'm going to do shoulder rolls and some exercises for the neck, or you can do whatever feels good for yourself. So let's do, if you are Following along, let's do a couple of shoulder rolls. So we'll roll the shoulders up and back, come around. Let's do five in this direction, then we'll reverse that movement. And then let's reverse that. And let's check in with the neck. And for this practice, I'll be marrying you. So we, let's look over to the left side. Look over to the right side. Line the head to swivel. Let's look back over to the left. Back over to the right. Bring your head to the center, looking forward. Let's gaze upwards. Gaze downward. Gonna be any gentle and kind as you move the neck. Up and down one more time. Bring the head to center. And we'll just do some neck rotations. We'll just do do those neck rotations. One way to do them is just imagine you're drawing circles with the nose, so you can just gaze downward into circle. Make circles with the nose in one direction. Let's do two times in one direction and then reverse that movement. Bring the head over the spine. All right, let's check in with the head. Let's imagine there's a string coming down from the ceiling, the sky. Pulls you upright, get you loose hanging from the string. This lengthens out the spine. Let's check in with the brow and the jaw. We tend to carry a lot of tension there, see if you can just soften the brow, release tension in the jaw, you can unhinge the jaw. If that feels good for you. You can check in with the mouth. Again, check in with the tension there. Checking with the tongue, you can have the tongue resting on the roof of the mouth and the tip of the tongue can be touching the back of the two front teeth. And now that we have aligned the body, let's move into aligning the breath. In this practice, you're welcome to do any type of breathing as long as you're checking in with your breath and breathing. Uh, but a recommended breathing practice is Dantian breathing also known as belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing. And to just demonstrate, I'll bring the left hand to the abdomen. So when you're taking a deep breath, as you inhale, fill the lungs with air. The breath is deep, so the abdomen expands. 
And as you exhale, the lungs empty and the abdomen softens. So do that one more time. Inhale, lungs fill, abdomen expands, exhale, lungs empty, abdomen contracts and softens. Lastly, let's bring our hands to the chest, actually to the heart. You can have the knuckles connected to the heart or the stern. Let us connect with aligning the mind. And the mind is powerful. Where you bring your focus and attention to, that draws and increases energy. So let's set intention to be here, to be present with this practice, with ourselves, as we do these movements. And let's just set an intention, whatever you'd like to get out of this practice, just set that intention right now. Let's take a deep breath and exhale with a sigh. Allow the hands to flow down. And we're gonna begin the first movement. So we're gonna inhale the hands up towards the sky. Exhale the hands down and out by the side. So inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down and out. Again, you're always welcome to modify the movement for yourself. And going at your own pace and speed. This is your practice, honoring yourself, honoring how you move. Let's do it three more times in this direction. Then we'll reverse the movement. We're going to do one more repetition in this direction. Now we're going to reverse the movement. So now the hands will come up by the side. And as the hands make it overhead, flow the hands down in front of the body. Noticing how that transition feels for you. Now, as you're doing this movement, you can see how it feels to extend the exhale. See if you can elongate that exhale flow. See if it feels good for you. And extending the exhale can help stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which deepens the relaxation response. Let's do one more repetition. Transition to the next gesture. So our hands just flow down. Fingers can point down for just a brief moment. And now we'll bring our hands to the lower abdomen, the Dantian, and the deep reservoir. Palms are facing up towards the sky. Things are pointed towards each other with a little space in between. Let's begin this next gesture. We're going to inhale the hands up to heart height. When the hands make the heart, flip the hands over, palms face down. Exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Restarting the movement. Palms face up. Inhale. 
And exhale, palm face down. And slow down. Noticing what this feels again. Noticing what you sense. Noticing what you're connecting with. Coordinating the body with the breath. Noticing if you feel anything in your body that's available to you. If that is too much, just checking in with your environment, noticing what you're connecting with in your senses. Let's do two more repetitions. Let's transition to the next gesture, which is a heart opening gesture. We're going to inhale the hands back up to the heart, but this time we're going to imagine we're holding a ball. And this time the fingers will be pointing up. You're holding the ball between your palms. And again, whatever comes to your mind, whatever experience, whatever you sense, when you hear the phrase holding a ball between your hands. Let's transition to the next gesture. Let's extend the hands out in front of the body. Slight bend in the elbows. And we're going to begin. We're going to inhale. Open hands out and apart. Open chest. Gaze upward. Exhale, look forward. Bring the hands close together, but not touching. Inhale, open up. Out and apart. Looking upwards. Exhale. Saw, release, bring the hands back forward. Going at your own pace. Noticing where your attention is right now. Let's do two more repetitions. Coronating the body with the breath. Inhale, opening. Exhale, releasing. I'm gonna do one more repetition on my end. Let's take a brief moment to engage in some Qigong play, Qigong improv. Listening to our body's intuition, let's just come back to that idea, that experience of holding a ball with your hands. And let's ask ourselves how we'd like to play with that ball. How would you like to move and flow with that ball? Let's engage in that for the next moment. Let's say 30 seconds. And again, it could be any type of wall. You could be connecting with your energy. What do you notice? What do you feel? How would you like to move in this moment? Let's bring this moment of play, improv, 
to a close. Let's return to that original position. Let's extend the hands out the front of the chest. Palms are facing towards each other. Still holding that ball. And we're going to transition to the next gesture. We're going to turn our hands. Palms are facing towards the chest. Fingers are pointing towards each other. We're going to inhale. Draw the hands in towards the body. We're going to exhale. Allow the hands to trace down over the torso. As the fingers point down, we're going to swivel palms around. Now face up. We're going to inhale the hands up to shoulder height. Flipping the hands over, palms facing down, allowing the hands and the arms to flow down. Arms can flow past the body to extend the exhale. Restarting the movement. Inhale, drawing the hands up to melt shoulder height, whatever feels good. And exhale, allowing the hands to flow down. Noticing what you feel. Noticing where your awareness is in this moment. Sinking the flow with the breath. This particular movement has many variations. I'll go through a few of the variations. Seems like there's an endless amount. I think I'll just do four. But you're welcome to do any others that you prefer. We can begin doing a variation right now. So as you inhale your hands up, you can shift right to the front of the feet. As you turn your hands over and allow the hands to flow down, shifting the weight into the back of each foot. Inhale, shift weight forward. Exhale, shift weight back. And as you are doing this, you are keeping the feet planted on the ground. And as the weight is shifting forward and back, it's like giving your feet a foot massage. at your own pace and speed. And we'll incorporate a little variation if you want to make this a balanced practice. If it's available to you, as you inhale the hands up, you can rise up onto the ball or the toes of each foot. And as you exhale, you can lower the heels out of the ground, lifting up the toes, shifting the weight into the heel. So inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower the heels to the ground, sifting the weight into the back of each foot, lifting up the toes. No worries if this is not available to you. Plenty of options and variations. No worries if you stumble, this is just a practice. Position. Then I'll shift into the next variation, which is bringing the feet together and stepping them apart. So next time you inhale, hands up. Let's bring the right, left foot, right foot to the left foot, and exhale. The right foot steps away from the left. Inhale, hands up. Bring the left foot to the right foot. Exhale. Left foot steps away from the right foot. Inhale. Exhale. Notice how it feels. Bring the feet close together. And step them apart. And there are variations within this variation.
So maybe you like to incorporate sinking. As you step the feet apart, you can sink. And then as you bring the feet together, you can rise up. It can be a subtle rise, a subtle sink. Noticing what feels good to you. this a balance practice so you can bring the feet together and keep most of the weight in one foot or if it's available to you maybe you can lift up a leg exhale requires more balance and coordination Do what feels good for you. Do what allows you to be present here and taking care of yourself. I'll do two more of these on each side and throw in another variation. A variation my fellow teacher Kapil likes to do is where we do a cross cross flow. So when we lift up the right hand, we lift up the left leg. When we lift up the left hand, we lift up the right leg. So let's just, if you'd like to follow along, you can do that, or you can stick with the original flow. But I'll just do that for a couple of passes. So as I lift the left, the left leg, right hand flows up. And doing the opposite, left hand, right leg. Do one more pass for each side. Let's return to that original flow. So just line the hands to flow up to shoulder height. Palms facing up and then exhale. Palms facing down. Line the hands to flow back down. Let's do that for four more times. Do one more repetition to close this movement. All right. Did quite a bit of flowing motion. Let's transition to shaking, also known as shake the tree. If you like, you can jump right into it. I'll start it slow. Just start with the hands and let that shaking move into the rest of the body. Shaking is a great way to release stress. Movement in general is just a great way to release stress. So when you're doing Qigong, gentle movement, you're helping yourself release stress. And shake it in a way that feels good for you. Maybe you want to pump the heels. Maybe you have it in you to jump up and down. Or just shift from side to side. Whatever feels good for you. Maybe you want to engage that dog wagging its tail. Shifting the hips. One practice that we like to do while shaking is called blithering breaths. And this is where we release a breath, a sigh, a sound, whatever feels good for yourself. It's 
So releasing some type of breath, some type of sound, seems to work very well with shaking. So we'll do three breathing breaths. When I say inhale, you can take a deep breath. On the exhale, whatever feels good. Again, it could be a sigh, a yawn, anything that helps support you. So let's make this happen, let's go. Inhale. Let's do two more. Let's take a deep breath, inhale. Last one, inhale. All right, we've been shaking for a while. Let's go to the closing, the shaking sequence. Let's bring the hands out to the sides. See how that feels. Bring the hands overhead. Bring the hands out in front of you, reaching out. It's available to you, bringing your hands behind you. Then you can bring your hands out to the side, fingers pointing down, connecting to the ground. And if it's available to you, adding a slight bend, the hips and the knees, getting closer to the ground. And then for the next 30 seconds, you can just shake how you want to. Maybe you want to engage in a high vibration shake, or just something slower, something easier. We'll close the shaking practice in the next 20 seconds. So if you like, you can even begin to slow down. And if it's available to you, you can come to stillness. See if you can. Again, if it's available to you, turn inwards and listen to yourself. If stillness is not available to you, you can transition to swaying. Swaying from side to side or rocking forward and back. But this is an opportunity to listen, either internally or checking in with your senses. This is an opportunity to just pause. So we'll just take the next minute to just pause and just be. This is the middle of the class pause. And what do you notice and what do you sense? Noticing where your attention is. pause for a minute, a moment. Let's transition to the second half of class and let me give you a breakdown of what we'll be doing for the second half of class. So we'll be doing the next few exercises, let's say four or five exercises will be exercises to warm up the spine, um, warm up the joints. Then after that we'll engage in flowing movements. Some flowing movements will be connected with water and the bear. I've been doing these movements for the past couple of months because this is winter time and water and the bear are associated with the season of winter. But I'll be throwing some other movements that are just really helpful for relaxation and connecting with yourself in the present moment. So let's begin. Let's do a couple more exercises that are good for warming up the spine and have a little bit more movement. So what you can, you can do have a slight bend at the hips and slowly arms just hang over like so. 
We're doing an exercise gesture called pendulum. It's really in what you can do is if you want, have a slightly wider stance. Just some shift from side to side, allow your arms to swing. Just allowing this to happen. Breathing can be natural. Just allowing this flow. Do this for a few more passes. And we'll just slow it down. Allow it to come to a stop. Noticing how that feels. Bring the feet if they are at a wider stance, shoulder width apart, Qigong stance. We're going to transition to standard Qigong practice, favorite knocking on the door of life, also known as knocking on the temple gong, spinal twist, and we'll transition into uh, water waves. So we'll just begin with allowing the arms to just hang down at the side, turning at the waist, allowing the arms to flow when it's available to you. You can allow the arms, hands to tap the body. Front hand taps the lower abdomen, back hand taps the lower back. It's a good gesture to warm the spine, connect with that Dantian kidney energy, connect with the min man. You can, if it, if turning the head makes you dizzy, you can just allow the head to just face forward, turn at the waist. We're going to transition into water waves, so just allow the arms to just flow off the body. And imagine that your hands are oars or paddles, just moving through the water. You can just begin to do that slower pace. Moving through a river, a stream, just moving that with your hands, noticing how that feels, if that has a feeling for you. Just bring your awareness to the present moment. And we'll just allow the hands to just flow down. And just come to a standstill, noticing how that feels. All right, let's take an opportunity to do some side bends, do a simple version. So we'll just bring the hands overhead. The left hand can clasp the, the right wrist. And what you can do is you can take the left hand and pull the right wrist over to the left side. Feel the stretch, the right side of the body. Inhale, turn to the upright position, switch, and allow the right hand to grasp the left wrist. Pull over to the right side so you feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Turn to upright, allow the hands to float in. Just do that one more time. Going at your own pace and speed. Left hand grabs right wrist. Pull over to the left side. Feel the stretch on the right side of the body. Return to the upright position. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Pull to the right side. Feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Turn upright, allowing the hands to flow down by the respective sides. Let's take an opportunity to do some hip rotations and then some wrist rotations. Then we'll move into the flowing movements. Or we'll move into more flowing movements. 
So if you like, you can bring your hands to the waist. And whatever feels comfortable for you, just make circles with the hips. We'll do four circles in one direction. And then we'll reverse the movement. Do four circles in the other direction. Just got one more circle in this direction. Reverse the movement. Always being kind and gentle with yourself. Qigong is not about pain. It's a healing and self care practice. Some of you view it as preventative medicine. So I'm going to do one more circle. When you're all set to spring yourself upright, weight is equally distributed to your both feet, hips are centered. We'll just take some time to check in with the wrists. There's many wrist exercises we can do. Just do really two simple ones. Just like to just circle this round. Then you can reverse the direction. Do it for a few times, let's say five times each side. Another option is holding the hands out and just circling one direction and reversing that. All right, so those are our warm-up exercises. Let's move into some flows. Let's see. Let's start off with the Simple flow. I'll we'll start off with Tai Chi opening. Tai Chi opening is just a flow where we just allow our hands to inhale and draw up to about shoulder height. And exhale, allow the hands to flow down. This is not like flowing motion where we flip the palms on the inhale. Palms are facing the ground. So you inhale the hands up, exhale hands down. Coordinating the body with the breath. Let's do two more passes, two more repetitions. Repetition. Let's imagine that we can connect with a ball at our chest, at our heart. Come back to that connecting with a ball at the heart area. Second dot TN, middle dot TN. Just being with that. And we're going to make figure eight of this ball or an infinity sign. So what we're going to do is draw this ball down to the left, up and around, then down to the right, up and around. Again, modifying the movement. So it doesn't cause strain or pain. You're just circling this ball around, kind of like making, again, figure eights. But in space. Breathing pattern can be natural and spontaneous. But imagine and noticing what you feel between your palms. Yeah. 
couple more passes. And we'll do one more pass for each side. So one more pass on the left side. One more pass on the right side. Coming back to the center, bring the hands back to heart height. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our hands together, making prayer hands. And you can have the knuckles of the thumb connected to the sternum or to the heart, whatever allows you to feel good, be here, be present. We'll just transition to a simple flow. So this is like a lung flow. So we can sink a little bit. Then we're gonna open our palms out as we rise up. Palms face away from the body. Inhale, sink. Bring the hands in. Come to prayer hands. Exhale, press out. Rise up. Inhale, draw the hands in. Again, going at your own pace. Let's do two more passes. Position. Exhale the hands out. Inhale, draw the hands in. And you can remain upright, you don't have to sink. Let's take a deep inhale. Okay, exhale with a sigh. Allow the hands to flow down. We're going to transition to the next gesture, which is called welcoming the moon. So to do this welcoming the moon gesture, we're gonna bring our hand, our left hand, back of the hand on the lower back. So the palm is facing away from the body. And with the right hand, we're gonna bring it out about waist height. Elbow is bent. What we're going to do is imagine that the moon is in our hand. We're going to inhale up, palm as the moon will face ourselves the entire time, circle around, draw it down, inhale up, around, exhale it down. And if you have more availability and mobility, you can have the hand get close to the feet, even touch over the feet, if that's available to you. So this is called welcoming the moon. Do this for two more passes. Then we'll switch hands. So you can return with the right hand extended, palm face down. Then we're gonna switch the hands. We're going to extend the left hand out and bring the right hand, back of the hand, on the lower back, mimic, palm facing up. And for the left hand, palm is facing up. We're going to do the same thing. Inhale, palm up and over. Palm faces towards yourself. Exhale down and around. Bending at a, com at a comfortable height for yourself. You can do this exercise where your hand is touching over, 
over the feet. Or are you just doing a light bend? Or are you just bringing the hand down by the thighs? Whatever allows you to connect and flow. Do two more passes. So exhale the hand down and around. Inhale the hands up and over. I'm going to do one more pass with the left hand. So we can turn to the starting position, left hand, palm facing up, and we'll just allow it to flow down. And we can allow the right hand to drop from the lower back down to the side. We're going to transition to a movement called Kronion Draws a Rainbow. So we're going to bring the hands to about waist height, but extend it outwards. And we're going to draw a rainbow with each hand respectively. So we're going to start with the right hand, turn the palm facing up. We're going to inhale it up and then around to the back. Circle it around, draw both hands up. Bend right hand palm face down, lower the hands down a little bit, and then we're going to transition to the left hand. Turn left hand, palm facing up, inhale up, and back, and around. Get as comfortable for your shoulders. Draw hands up, heart height. Turn both palms over, facing down. Transition to back to the right hand. Breathing can be natural. Do one more pass for each hand. And just allow both hands. Pause for now to flow down. Let's take an opportunity to do a couple gentle bear flips. I've done a couple of these bear exercises before, but I'll pick the more gentle ver versions since I'm doing this practice at night. I want to be in concert with yin energy. So let's start off with bear offering. So we're gonna bring the hands up down to your height, palms facing up, fingers facing towards it, a little space in between. What we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale. Now to exhale, we're gonna to turn towards the right side. We're gonna extend the right hand out. Left hand comes to about the elbow of the left hand, right hand. Then inhale, hands back to that starting position. Exhale over to the left side. If you like, you can widen your stance and get closer to the ground and embody the bear as you're doing this bear offering. 
Do whatever feels good for you. So inhale the hands back to center. Exhale the hands out to the side. The bear is strong, yet gentle and patient. It knows how to conserve energy. Let's do this gesture. Couple more passes for each side. So two more passes for right side. And this will be my final repetition of the movement. So just slow down and we can bring in the stance. Have one more bear movement to do. It's a four part bear movement. It's called Big Bear Swims to the Ocean. So we're going to bring the hands back to Lumen Dantian, the waist, palms are facing up. And the first part of the movement, we inhale the hands up. And if the bear could offer an extending their paws in front, you're gonna exhale, extend the hands out in front, fingers facing forward. We're gonna flip over the hands. Inhale, hands out to the sides. And exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Remember, you start this movement. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands out. Flip the hands, inhale. Hands out. Exhale, hands slow down. Let's do this a few more passes. Imagine that your bear is just flowing and swimming through the water. With ease, with strength. Going at your own pace. Let's do two more passes of this movement. Last pass. All right. We're almost at the end of class. Let's do just a couple more gentle flying movements. One will be lifting ball. And then we'll do a centering integration flow. Lifting ball, it's pretty simple. Let's start off with the left hand. Let's imagine there's a ball in hand. And just, again, whatever, something that feels like it has some weight to it, it's still easy enough to maneuver, to hold. What we're doing is inhale and draw left hand across the body, diagonally. Up over to the right side. Then turn the palm over, exhale, allow the hand to flow down. We'll do the opposite side. Imagine we're holding a ball in our right hand. Again, it's heavy. Or heavy enough where it feels like you have some weight, but again, you can easily maneuver it. You're going to inhale that ball up across, over to the left side. And exhale, allow the hand to flow down. And we're going to just Continue to do each hand at a time. Inhale, draw the hand up. 
exhale, allow the hand to float down. Coordinating the body with the breath. Let's do one more pass for each hand. Finish off with the right hand. Inhale. Exhale. We'll transition to the integration flow. Let's bring both hands, one palm over the other. You can have the right hand over the left hand. Hands are by the lower abdomen, the lower dantian. Connecting with that energy reservoir with your lower abdomen, with your breath. And what we'll do is we'll allow the left hand to flow out and around. Inhale up towards the sky. And when the hand makes it overhead, exhale, draw the hand down, fingers pointing up towards the sky down the midline of the body and left hand will take the place of the right hand now the right hand draws up and around on the inhale and exhale down the midline connecting with your energy centers connecting with your heart and breath right hand replaces the left hand one more pass with the left hand circle it up Exhale it down. Doing the same now with the right hand. Circling it up. Drawing it down. Taking a brief moment to bring one palm over the other at the lower abdomen. You can even interlock thumbs. Just taking a brief pause, checking in with yourself, noticing how you feel. Hopefully feel a little bit more at ease, settling and grounding. Now we're going to completely close this practice. We're going to allow both hands to flow out and around. So we're going to inhale the hands, circle the hands up over the head, bring the left foot to the right foot. With the palms facing towards yourself, exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Showering yourself with whatever you need from the practice, energy, love, compassion. Without moving the legs, we're going to inhale, draw the hands up overhead, gathering that goodness, that energy, that light. Exhale, turning the palms towards yourself, taking in whatever you need from the practice, noticing what you sense and feel as you shower yourself. And one more time, inhale, gather, palms facing in the direction of travel as they flow up over the head. Turn the palms towards you on the exhale, draw down from the heavens, from the sky. Notice what you sense and feel. And to completely close this practice, this moment I will not be marrying you. I'm going to bring up my right hand, make a soft fist, and representing young energy, energy of the day, energy of action, and so much more. I'm going to bring up my left hand. Palm is open. This will represent the energy of yin, energy of the night, energy of relaxation. Let's bring left over right as we bring both hands to the center. Let's take an opportunity to bow to ourselves for practicing Qigong, self-care, energy, movement, mindfulness, presence. Let us take a bow to all those who are sharing their energy, the time, the space, this practice. Take one more bow to all those who have come before us, the teachers who have shared this practice. 
As always, I thank Toivo, Valley Chigang, Darren Joel, all the people who have allowed me to share this with you. I hope you have found this supportive and helpful, allowing you to connect with yourself and support yourself. Thank you again. Till next time, live well and take good care.